That looks better. All right. So anything that is not a point, we are going to put a half a double crochet in. So I did a chain one there, and I'm going to put a half double crochet there. I'm going to put a half double crochet in the next stitch. And there is a point. I'm going to put a single crochet in the point. Alright. So we're going to move over here and we're going to put a half double crochet there. A half double crochet in the next one. Wait a minute. It should be a half double crochet, a single crochet. There. A half double crochet, a single crochet. Half. And to find your stitch, you can just open it up like that. You'll see it right there. Well, I said that, didn't I? Single. Half. Single, half, so that's all we're going to do all the way around is a single crochet and a half double crochet. So there's a single. We're going to do a half. And in this center one right here, we are going to put one half, one, two, chain two, and another half. I think that's what I did. Well, let's see what I did. Yes. Okay, and then we'll put a half over here, so it's single, and that's a single, a half, a half, a half, half, single in the top, half on the sides, single in the top. I guess it'd be easier to do it on the side. Half. Single. Half. Oops. Half. Single. So the single is easier if you go right underneath where your ridge is. Go in there and put a single. And then do a half between them. Then a single. And a half. So what you need is 21 stitches. 
going across, counting your corner. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21. So we're going to actually, we're going to add an extra one for this corner. So 21, 22, it'll be 23 stitches across the top. So continue doing that. So it's a half single, half single, half. Single, half, single, and then this one we'll do a half, and we're here in the corner, so it'd be a half, chain two, and a half. So let's see if we got 23 stitches. I hope I do. So that's one, two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Awesome. So there you go. Put 23 stitches across here, 23 stitches down, and when we get down here, you're going to do a chain two. You can do a half double crochet and a chain two, and we're going to slip stitch into that very first one that we did. So continue that, and I will be right back. Alrighty, I made it down here to my uh, 22, which was a half, and I'm in the corner here, so 22, this makes 23. Do a chain two, and I'm going to connect into this half over here and make a slip stitch. Okay, that's what it looks like now. Looks pretty squared up, but of course we haven't blocked it to make it look real pretty. All right, now at this point you can change to the uh, crimson looking color or you can continue in this. For tutorial purposes, I'm going to continue in this because it's a lot easier and you know, so what we're going to do now is, all we're going to do is put a double crochet in every stitch until we get to the corners and we're going to put two double crochets, a chain two, and two double crochets. So I'm not going to start in, the, oh, wait a minute, let's go back and do this. I kind of like this because I do like starting in the corner. So in my corner, I'm going to wrap around, go into this stitch, pull up a stitch, and go through all three. That makes me in the corner. All right. So now I'm going to do a chain one, two, three, and I said we're going to put two double crochets in the corner. So that's one double crochet, and there's two double crochets. Now in every stitch, we have 23, so we're going to add two for this one and two for this one. So that's going to be 27 double crochets across. So there's one, there's two, there's three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 
I got 28, so let's count and make sure I did that right. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. I ended up with 28. So I'm going to count again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. I ended up with 28. So I'm going to do the next one, and I'm going to see if I'm right or not. All right, we're going to start in this corner. with a chain three and we're going to do a double crochet so that's one two three four five six seven eight Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. It's twenty. 23, 24, 25, 25, 26, and 27. Alright, so each side should have 27 double crochets. So we're in this corner. We're going to chain two and we're going to put two more double crochets in that corner and we're going to do 27 double crochets across, chain two, 27 double crochets, chain two, 27 double crochets and when we get down here we're going to do the two double crochets and a chain two and slip stitch into the top. So go all the way around and I will meet you right here. Alright, so we're down here on the end and I guess you're all probably saying why didn't I zoom in earlier. So this is my number 25. This is 26. This is 27. Chain 2. And we're going to slip stitch into the third chain up here. But I don't like doing that. It's a double crochet, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a half double crochet. Oh, wait. Let me get rid of them chain twos. I didn't mean to do that. You can either do a half double crochet there or a um, double crochet. But I'm only going to do a half because I'm going to chain one and make it look like a chain two. And that's what you do. So you do that chain one and I'm going to cut off, whoops, cut it off, pull it out and then get a needle and I will stitch it up. So let me bring it back down. Um, there you go bring it back down to there. So there's your washcloth. Then you will sew in all these ends. I'll pull, give them each one a, a little pull before you um, sew them in because they might be lagging a little bit back there. That's the corner. 
just pull this one that's coming from that side and this one and this one so that's all you got to do is weave in your ends now and there you go you have what I'm calling the pin broke washcloth it is going to be named for my husband because he picked out the colors and it was the school that he went to these are his colors so there you go I hope you enjoyed this washcloth I hope you make one please leave a comment if you like it intend to make one or you don't thank you for watching and please give me a thumbs up for this I could really use them. Thank you.